Hey guys, Buff from Gaming Back, bringing another video for our weapon conversion series, and today we're covering the UMP45 conversion for the Striker 45 using the Undertaker Blueprint, which is available at Battle Pass level 100 or tier 100 in the Battle Pass, unlocked for free with purchase of the Battle Pass. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'll show you how to build this, what blueprint you need, and then we're going to jump in game and check out the recoil control and see how it handles in game against bots. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Here you see the final design for the blueprint of the Striker 45, which at base in real life, the Striker 45 is the LWRC submachine gun. It is not a UMP, but with this Undertaker blueprint, you can see unlocked at tier 100 here. When you hit tier 100 in the battle pass, you'll get these last four unlocks, one of which being the Undertaker blueprint for the Striker 45, turning it from a real life LWRC into a lookalike for the UMP. 45. So let's go ahead and jump in it. We'll look at the differences and then jump in game. So I'm going to back out to my custom class where I have these set up for us to look at. So you can see here we have our Undertaker blueprint. So first up, the attachments that come with this weapon on the blueprint itself is going to be the lightweight suppressor. So you're going to get sound suppression for the pro as well as con being the damage at range with this suppressor. Now we're going to skip out on the barrel for this blueprint. The 5 milliwatt laser is also available with this blueprint. The hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed are your pros with the con being that the laser is visible to enemies if you're walking. If you're sprinting or ADSing, the enemy will not be able to see that laser. So just keep that in mind while using this. Now the optic on this blueprint is going to be the PBX Hollow 7 sight. So I discussed this in our video yesterday for the tank blueprint that we covered for the M13. Uh, same pros and cons as any optic you're going to get in the game being precision sight picture with the con being ADS speed. This is basically a more clearer, precise picture uh, optic of the holographic. So I prefer this over the hollow just because it has a little bit more clear picture, as I said. Back out. Now the stock, we're going to keep blank as well as the perk. The grip that comes with this blueprint is going to be the FTAC 60 series rubber. So you can see the pro being recoil control and con being aiming stability with this attachment. Now, next up, we're going to skip out on the ammo for this blueprint. You see your other options here are the 12-round hollows as well as just a 45-round mag that you can put in there as well. We're going to keep with the standard 25 to 30 rounds. Like the standard magazine comes with the 30-round mag. Now, the underbarrel, we're going to put the Ranger 4 grip on because this does, again, come with the blueprint itself. So the pros being recoil control as well as aiming stability. The cons being aim walking movement speed and ADS speed for this foregrip. But you're going to get that recoil control, which is going to be key. So those are the final attachments. For this weapon now really quick what are the differences between this and the base striker 45 if i back out you can see i have them compared here on two different classes so here we have our undertaker blueprint now let's look at the base striker 45 with the same attachments you can see how that looks and if i swap up you can see the differences a little bit so just pay attention as i swap back and forth and we'll review them in detail so you can see this is this base striker with the same attachments and then this is the UMP Undertaker blueprint of the weapon. So what are the differences with this? The Undertaker blueprint, we jump into this, uh, resembles, as I said, the HK UMP 45 by the noted one being the rear sights here that we have on the weapon are different from the base Striker 45 of the LWRC. We also have the smoother upper receiver, the differences in the mag well here in the front, as well as a similar similar stock that you can see here for the which matches the UMP cosmetically so again this is a cosmetic conversion mainly because it is still a base striker 45 but cosmetically this blueprint changes it into the ump here being the undertaker blueprint so again really quick you can see the differences between the base striker you can see the stock is different the mag well pay attention to that as well as the pistol grip the rear sight as well as even the rail and the handguard system there is is also different and you have a different suppressor with the blueprint itself with this same lightweight suppressor just cosmetically transforms the weapon from the LWRC to the UMP 45 by H&K. So go ahead and jump into this now. What do the camos look like on this? You can see here, you're going to change everything minus the front grip, the magazine, the, and the holographic sight. Everything else is going to be subject to change with the camouflage. And any other attachment that you put on this is just going to keep the same cosmetics you're not really changing any major cosmetics here this is basically a reskin of the weapon to turn it into the ump 45 so you can see if i remove the holographic there we have the iron sights here which are slightly different from the ump but again uh the flip up iron sights there so go ahead and put that pbx back on the weapon and then the stock option as well at base it 
resembles the UMP stock, but if we change it, it's just going to go with, back to the base Striker 45 stock options there. So those are the changes to the blueprint. And again, this is the final design for the Striker 45 blueprint of the Undertaker, transforming it into the HK UMP 45. So let's go ahead now, jump right in game. We'll check out the Rico patterns for this, and then we'll get in game and see how it handles in game against bots. Okay, now that we're in game with our Undertaker blueprint of the Striker 45 resembling the UMP 45, let's go ahead and check out the recoil pattern. So what I'm going to do first is just aim at this wall. We're going to let it rip full auto. I'm not going to control the recoil pattern. We'll see how it goes. So you can see it's basically almost a straight vertical recoil with a slight deviation to the left as we climbed the muzzle climb. So let's try and control it a little bit now. So you can see they were able to keep our shots line up pretty well pretty tight spread let's try it once more controlling it so that's me barely pulling down on it you can see those are all going to be very tight those are all center mass shots a little bit of a spread but all center mass and really this is dependent on how you control the recoil let's try it once more so again all center mass you can see here the deviation if we don't control it, up and to the left slightly controlling controlled controlled so here's a much better option you get a little bit of horizontal recoil so that may be dependent on what kind of different underbarrel attachment you want to put on maybe a commando foregrip will assist with that versus the ranger foregrip that we have on here so let's check out the hip fire now since we do have a five milliwatt laser let's go ahead and let this rip not trying to control it so you can see it climbs a little bit there now if we try and keep it down and prevent the muzzle climb so you can see I overcompensated almost a little bit too much. Let's try it once more. So there you can see pretty tight spread right there, even with the just the 5 milliwatt. And again, this is maybe 5 meters away. So that's about your max hip fire range that you would want anyways. But again, this is our tightest cluster here, controlling a little bit of horizontal bounce, but nothing too major. So that is the... UMP 45 blueprint of the Striker 45 uh, called the Undertaker. Let's go ahead now and get a game and see how it handles. Okay, now that we're in game with our Undertaker blueprint resembling cosmetically changing the Striker 45 to the UMP 45, let's go ahead and see how it handles in game now against bots. So you can see right off the bat, I just got clapped by a bot since I do have them on higher difficulty. <laughs> so gonna have to deal with that. But again, the UMP45 was developed by H and K, basically as an alternative to the to the MP5. To we wanted they wanted higher damage as well as a little bit lower recoil on the weapons. And going from a nine millimeter round with the MP5 nine millimeter parabellum to a 45 ACP round with the UMP45. You can see there how it just drops people with that heavier round you're dropping people a lot faster The rate of fire much slower in real life than the mp5 full auto mp5 was a little hard to control So they wanted to they deliberately lowered the fire rate on the weapon Down to 600 to 700 rounds per minute Versus the mp5's higher rate of fire, which was almost very impossible hard to control at least on full auto Boy, there's a lot of guys here. Let's see if we can move up. There we go. So you can see, I'll I'll get a shot shot count here as to what the kill count is, but I think we have it's about a three to four shot kill with this weapon. Check out the hip fire accuracy. You can see there, very good. So you can see right here, dropping people very fast. Now it's going to be the slowest firing submachine gun in the game, I believe. But it's going to hit the hardest. It is our only 45 ACP submachine gun that we have available in the game right now. And unfortunately, I got clapped by an Odin there firing the 12.7 rounds. But you can see very, very strong submachine gun. That slower rate of fire is going to be made up for or mitigated with the damage that the weapon outputs. Oh boy. So right there, if I didn't have that damage, I would have easily been dead. So we're going to try and get a, oh, see how many bullets it takes to kill someone here. Oh, it came up behind me. 
So the UMP45, again, designed in the 1990s, put in production and service 1999 through present day. And there's a couple different variations of the UMP being the UMP40, which fires the 40 Smith & Weston, as well as the UMP9, which again fires the 9mm rounds, again with a slower fire rate than the MP5 at 600 rounds per minute. So you get good damage at range with this weapon also being a heavier round. So in real life, the UMP5 origin Germany, obviously since it is HNK, uh, the mass without the magazines is going to be is going to add up to 5.4 pounds or 2.5 kilograms. The, oh. There we go. Is there another one here? No. So the length, let me reload. The length of the weapon is going to be 690 millimeters or 27.2 inches with a stock extended on this weapon. Oh boy. And it's all, it's going to be 450 millimeters or 17.7 inches with the stock folded. Obviously, since we have that folding stock, Classic with the UMP folds to the right of the weapon there to make it more compact as an SMG. It's going to reduce the overall length of the weapon. Oh, saw it right here. There we go. So it's about a four to five shot kill there. <laughs> but the damage is extremely high. Let's see if we can switch it to select fire to single and just see if we can. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. So it's about four, it looked like, right there. So the cartridge of the UMP-45 is a 45 ACP. And then the UMP-40 taking the 40 Smith & Weston, as well as the UMP-9 being a 9 by 19 Parabellum, as we discussed. Try and get up top and... Oh. Below us. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so four to five shot kill. And again, that was in single fire, so it's not really the rate of fire. Let's see if we can get this guy at range. There we go. The muzzle velocity on the Striker 45, or the UMP 45 in real life, excuse me. Whoop. Let's see if we can get this guy. There we go. So the rate of fire, as I said, for the UMP 45, 600, or with... Uh, Fully automatic, 700 rounds per minute. Muzzle velocity is going to be 285 meters per second or 935 feet per second with the 45 ACP rounds. The effective range for the 45... Whoop. You can see there, very little recoil at range with that weapon. And again, it still hits very hard for that little bit longer range for a normal submachine gun. If you were to engage with that with the MP5 with the 9mm rounds, it would be a little bit harder to control that. You'd have much more vertical muzzle climb on the weapon. Got an Odin. There we go. There we are. Now the feed system is a 30 round, oh boy. 30 round detachable box magazine. There are a 25 for the UMP 45. 30 round would be the UMP 9 and the UMP 40. And like we see here with the Striker 45 Undertaker blueprint being the 25 round Oh boy, where are these guys? 25 round UMP 45, 45 ACP rounds. So again, this is the UMP 45 Undertaker blueprint for the Striker 45, which in real life, the Striker 45 is the LWRC, which is not the UMP, but this is a cosmetic change to the weapon, turning it into a lookalike of the UMP 5, or the UMP 45, excuse me. So let me know what you guys think of this weapon. Have you unlocked the Undertaker blueprint yet? See if we can get hip fire at range. There we go. Have you unlocked this yet at tier 100? Are you still working on it? Let me know what tier you guys are on below. I've used this in multiplayer and it just destroys people. I really like it. I've also used it in Warzone as well. And it's, again, just drops people very, very quickly. One of my favorite guns to be using right now. I've always been a fan of the UMP 45, especially in Modern Warfare 2. I used it quite a lot. This is Striker 3 1, good cop. Strike oh darn! I had to call in my uh, my UAV, not the gunship. But yeah, and I use the MP45 a lot in Modern Warfare 2. It's one of my favorite guns. I've always preferred the slower firing, uh, harder hitting weapons like the AK47s, the UMP45s. 
And so it's good to see a weapon like this added to the game. And be curious to see if they end up adding the Vector now, since I think that was leaked in the very beginning of the Season 1. But I think that ended up changing to be what we see now being the Striker 45. I did see a couple different iterations of naming conventions throughout the life cycle before it was finally released here in Season 2. Ultimately settling on the Striker 45 name. So, again, let me know what you guys think of this blueprint. Also, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you're liking the content. Also, comment below if you've unlocked this yet, if you're excited to unlock this. I know the Striker 45 itself is unlocked in the Battle Pass, I believe, Tier 30, so it's the second weapon unlocked with Season 2 Battle Pass. So let me know, this is the kind of blueprint that I really like to see, is something that cosmetically transforms the weapon into a different weapon. So we go from a Striker 45, which is really a similar weapon, but very different looking overall than the UMP 45, and this blueprint cosmetically changes it, oh boy, <laughs> changes it into... A different gun, essentially, being the UMP-45. You know that base, it still is a LW RC, but it is a good cosmetic change to the weapon that I like to see. So this is the kind of blueprints I want to see going forward, things like this. Love to see an AK blueprint for the AK-12. Love to see a Holger 26 blueprint for an XM-8. Um, let me know what kind of blueprints you guys want to see below. I really think there's a big opportunity for blueprints like this that are cosmetically transforming the weapon going forward. Instead of adding a bunch of different weapons to the game, it'd be a perfect option to just add blueprints for similar weapons like what they did here with the Striker 45, turning it into the UMP 45. Let's see if we can get these last two kills. One. Oh no. They're just gonna have the bots on the hardest difficulty, yet they're like crouching and hiding. It's just strange. Usually they're pushing pretty aggressively. Horrible accuracy there, but final kill. So, again, I am Buffner Gaming. This is the LWCR or the Striker 45 blueprint called The Undertaker, unlocked at tier 100 of the Battle Pass, cosmetically turning the weapon into the HK UMP 45. Until next time, Buffner Gaming. Out.